Alright guys, welcome back to JForce Gaming and today I'm going to show you guys how you guys can recover deleted files. Alright, and what I'm saying about like deleted files is not like, you know, uh, files from a recycle bin or any other, you know, gimmicky kind of videos. Alright, this is an actual video to show you guys how you guys can actually recover, alright, corrupted, alright, or formatted files or deleted files that is even deleted from recycle bin that I will show you how you guys can recover them. Alright, so um, today we're going to show you how you guys can recover the files that probably you accidentally, you know, formatted your drive, alright, and you know, you forgot to, you know, back up your files or and such, alright. So as you know, if you have formatted your drive, alright, it is pretty, pretty impossible to recover your files once it has been formatted. Well, today I have the perfect solution for you that can help you recover the files, alright, even after formatting, alright. And it is with the help of this software right here, alright. So this is the one share recovery i have and i tell you this software is really really a lifesaver all right especially for a content creator like me all right where i record all kinds of videos footage and you know as a student myself as well all right i'm a university i'm a full-time university student as well and you know i do like a lot of like you know you need a documentation you need to do reports all right all this and that all right, especially as sometimes i do do like codings you know and all this and that all right and sometimes i deal with so many drives that sometimes you know the different drive from our space i have to format them all right or even sometimes you know i actually deleted some from my own camera as well all right? the footage i deleted from my accidentally deleted from my camera and it's very very annoying and you know some of the time you know either i have to reflame it redo it all right but with this software right here all right it's really really saved my life all right and saved me a lot of time so this, this software can actually recover any data any files even from formatted drive all right which i'm going to show you guys today all right and i tell you this thing is super reliable and super super good all right, and um, yeah, it's a really, really a lifesaver for me. All right, so right now I'm just going to show you guys the software itself and um, show you a quick demo on formatting my drive and after that recovering the files that I formatted in, all right, from using this software right here. So without further ado, let me just go ahead and show you guys the software itself. Let's go. All right, so as you guys can see, this is the software right here, all right? And this software is pretty, pretty good, all right? And it also includes other features as well, which I can, I will briefly talk about it later on. But for now, you guys can see, these are all the drive I have, all right, in my computer. So if I go to my PC, you guys can see, <coughs> these are all the drive, all right? So today we will be demonstrating on this DD drive that I have, all right? And inside here, I do have like, you know, a few documents right here. I call this the A Assignment 1 Report. All right, I have family photo of, obviously it's not, but I name it family photo. So you can think like, you know, um, if, if you if you accidentally uh, formatted your drive or accidentally deleted your, you know, your family photo, you know, it could be very devastating. So family photo, we have an important context. All right, and we have a school document. So um, yeah, those are pretty important files. Okay, I'll show you some of the files, all right? So this is the one that, you know, one of the assignment that I do for, the, for my school. Right, it's like some VR uh, carnival game. So yeah, this is one of the report that I do. All right, imagine this being deleted, all right? So yeah, so if, you know, I take like probably two hours to do this report. All right, we have a family photo as well. All right, before it's just a screenshot of a Steam. All right, uh, we have important context dot text. All right, this is just some error logs, all right? I just name it a important context many you have you know you have all these important contacts saved here and you know it's been deleted all right unfortunately my microsoft book is not working so i cannot demonstrate on this computer but you know i have a word document right over here so you guys just remember the names all right important contact school family photo and a1 report all right so what i'm gonna do now all right is i'm gonna click on this i'm gonna right click it i am gonna format this all right so as you know what's formatting all right you will clean up everything in the drive. All right, so I'm going to click on format. All right, I'm going to select what I want to format it. All right, that's per default. And click on start. All right, see, this will erase all data on disk. So I'm going to just format it. Let's wait a while and let it format. All right, so it shows format completed. So if I click on it, the folder is empty. So, oh no, so the files is completely gone. There's no way of getting it back because the drive had been formatted. So there's nothing I can do. You guys can see inside is empty, totally empty. Well, this is where this software comes in play and this is where the come seem to save your files. All right, so if I just refresh it again, all right, you guys can see, all right, all the drive is still there. This is the drive I had, 32 gig ID drive. I just need to click on that. All right, I just need to scan it. All right, just wait a while and let it scan. 
All right, um, just wait a while, let it scan, and you know, it's, it's deep scanning files, it's about 14 minutes, all right, so, um, so probably because this is just a recently formatted files, probably you don't have to scan for so long unless if you're you know scanning for files that probably has been like deleted like for many years back. Then probably you would need to like you know have you know a less scan completely. All right. So uh, probably you can see um there's like some lost file right over here. We have some documents. Probably a docs file. All right. We don't have, we don't have a PDF. Okay. Alright, so some of these are you know been deleted long time ago. You can, if you, as you guys have seen, alright, in my D drive, alright, it is completely empty. But where are these files coming from? So well, basically these files are the files that probably have I have been deleted. I deleted them probably like you know many years back, you know because I use this drive you know um for backup. So once I don't need that, I will just delete and delete and delete. So there's a lot of files actually existed on this drive before. All right, so you guys can see all the files are coming back because it's scanning all the files that have been this deleted. All right, throughout this drive lifetime. All right, we're gonna just probably wait a while and let it scan through all the files and after that we'll get back to you guys okay so um yeah so i actually stopped it around like 41 percent 42 percent because it actually found all the files that i have recently deleted all right so like i say you don't have to scan very very long if the file has just been recently formatted or probably like a few days ago a few weeks ago probably you don't have to spend that long for it to scan all right or if you guys want an in-depth scan guys can let it scan finish all right but if, if you want to save time all right unless the, the the files or folders all right that have been deleted probably many years ago probably you have to let it do a longer scan all right so um you actually found the files you guys remember all right uh one of the file is like a pdf document so if i go to all right, if I go to documents, all right, we do have a docs document, the school docs, remember the, the word document, right? It had been found over here. So it had really found a formatted file right over here. All right, we do have a PDF, uh, the, uh, the assignment one report, you can remember over there as well. So yeah, they have also found it as well. Pretty, pretty cool, all right? So yeah, they have found the two of the files that I have um, that I have in my drive before I formatted it. All right. Uh, I think uh, there's one family photo in my photo. So I think it's a PNG or JPEG. Oh, it's not here. Then probably it's on a PMG, I think. There we go. All right. So this is the family photo. You guys remember the family photo one? So this is the one over here. So if I found it as well. All right. And the next one is the important context. Yeah. So um, we have to find the important context. All right. So uh, I think that is under others. Is it others? Is it here? Oh, it's not here, so it should be on the document text file. Yep, important contact dot text. So it's right over here. So you have found all the files that I have all right before I formatted the drive. So it can be found using this software to find back all the files that have been deleted. So it's really, really useful. Alright, so if I want to recover them, I just need to select this one the PDF one, and this is the docs one, and the photo one is probably PNG, and this is the one. All right, let me just check this. Oops, let's check one will do. All right, you can also preview it. So they also have a preview right over here. All right, some files doesn't have preview. Most of the time have a preview, so you can know what what uh, you are actually recovering. So if you like forgot like the file name, all right, but you know what the image look like. Like probably you know like the family photo. You forget like it's called familyphoto.png. You guys can preview it as well. There are preview functions. You can see all the files. It's like some of the games um, I did uh, many years back. All right, you guys can see it's, it's been found right over here. Really, really cool. All right, so you can find back all the files that you know has been um, lost long lost ago. And um, sometime, all right, you cannot uh, find. You don't know the name itself, but you can find the image. So I think that's pretty, pretty good as well. So you can scroll through one by one to find it. All right. So yeah, so I have found what I want. I don't know why I have to select all. Maybe I just recover one at a time. Can I just select this? Alright, I just need to recover. Alright, so I can choose where I want to recover it to. So probably I can recover it. So this is the drive. I cannot recover it to here. So I can like probably recover it to my uh here. Local DC. Alright, you guys can see local DC recover it. Alright, the photo has been recovered. There we go. You guys can see. So I have gotten back the photo. So yeah, so I got to make the photo, the frame photo I want. So right now I just want to recover the other three document, PDF and text files. So I just click recover, look at this C and bam, all right, it's been recovered. So we go to recovery C. All right, this is a photo and this is all the documents I have. So the docs, this is the school documents. We have the PDF, which is the 
report you guys can see all right it can be opened up very easily all right, without any issues all right the important contact or text or it's still back to where it is oops sorry all right so so yeah it's pretty it's really really incredible but i mean these are not the files that i really want so i'm going to just delete from my c drive all right but you guys can see you guys can just you will scan through you know you can you can scan through all and then just recover it to any drives you want all right and the scamming is actually really really fast all right it only took me like about like um one minute or about less than two minutes all right to scan up to 41 percent. so that's incredibly fast all right for the time it scans all right and i love the preview function and how nicely they classify it so if you know a certain file that you know that you know it is probably like a video file all right you can just go to video and look for the video file specific all right you guys can make it list or you can make it like um uh different type of arrangement you want you can filter by file status file type deep modify file type and file tag are right, easier for you to find probably like probably let's say photo this is this photo my png one have 255 and some doesn't have a name so it's very very hard to you know know but if you know like the, uh, the uh, average size you know or like you know the type all right or the date modified you guys can use that to filter will which will make you find it much much easier so uh, this software is really incredible all right um from like you know you feel like hopeless feel like you know helpless you know from like after formatting your drive there's no way of recovering your heart worked all right you can use this software to help you recover them and they have a lot of other stuff as well which i can briefly go through all right so if you're getting this software right, it not only includes like you know file recovery they also have sd card recovery so you can recover you know from um external storage you guys can have enhanced recovery all right corrupted video repair as well this can been especially useful all right so sometimes my video where i record on my camera and i pluck out the sd card too fast the file get corrupted but with this all right it can help me save it and you know, i don't have to reflame the video again it save me so much time i'm really thankful that this software actually exists all right you can uh, from system crash computer can recover data from that you can have recover data from nest storage and linux so it's really really incredible piece of software right here so yeah, if you guys want to check out this software right here, the Wondershare Recovery, you guys can check out the first link in the video screen down below. And why I say you should get this software instead of like, you know, bring your hard disk, your external storage, drive all right to like a you know data recovery center all right most of the time right the data recovery center they will charge you about four or five times the price that you buy this software so you know you first of all you save a lot of money and second of all your privacy is protected so you know if you were to go to those like you know data recovery the the person when they want to recover your data of course they can see all the data you have so you know um it's very very dangerous all right especially in now nowadays all right so if you don't want you want your privacy you don't want anyone to see your files all right all this and that all right definitely use this software you can do this at the comfort of your own home recovering for yourself and in the future you might need to recover again or your friends or family members need help with that you can use this software to help them so it's really really incredible save you a lot of money a lot of time protects your privacy and it works really well super reliable and yeah, I'm, I can recover all the hard earned work that I did, all right, without any issues. So if you guys want to check out this, all right, software, the Wondershare Recovery, I'll link them the first link in the video description down below, once again, for you guys to go ahead and check it out. So yeah, that's all for today, guys. If you find this video really interesting and really helpful, do let me know in the comment section as well. And without further ado, all right, this is JForce Gaming, and I shall see you guys in my next video. Peace out. I cry.